The bones of Revolutionary War hero Nathaniel Green are now contained here within his monument in Johnson Square. But would you believe they were missing for 100 years? And it took some real detective work to find them. After the war, Green moved to Savannah, where he lived on a plantation confiscated from the former royal lieutenant governor. When Green died suddenly in 1786, he was laid to rest in the lieutenant governor's crypt in Colonial Park Cemetery. In the chaos of post-war Savannah, the location of Green's grave was lost. Savannians proceeded to erect a monument to him in Johnson Square in 1825, but it wasn't until March of 1901 that a serious search was made for Green's remains. Asa Bird Gardner, who hailed from Green's native Rhode Island, led the search that located the general's bones, along with those of his son, inside a vault in Colonial Park. An inscribed silver plate was the primary indication they'd found the right grave. As hundreds of Savannians looked on, Green and his son were reburied beneath the monument in Johnson Square in November 1902. I'm Michael Jordan, exploring Savannah square by square.